5 seconds start the uniqueness of indian growth experience is that it takes place entirely within the framework of a democratic polity this has demonstrative implications for the world at large the success of india will be a living proof that growth need not come at the cost of human freedoms at the same time its intrinsic stability and consensual basis will make themselves fully felt in long term partnerships many of you probably know the diversity and the complexity of a country of 1 billion people that india is all the great religions of the world are represented in our country we have 150 million citizens who practice the faith of islam and i say it with some pride about their patriotism that not one of them has joined the ranks of these gangs like al qadi or other terrorist activities a were track record on cooperation with the united states even within the last year that our government has been in office clearly conveys our determination to raise both its quality content and scope we have completed the next steps in strategic partnership we have established energy and economic dialogues at the very high cabinet levels put in place an intellectual poverty rights regime and investment policies that encourage business we have addressed the long standing disputes about american direct investments in the famous dhabhol project we have recently concluded with the united states an open skies agreement we have expanded our defense cooperation with a new framework and worked very closely with the us on tsunami relief operations last year these achievements give us the confidence to know tackle the more ambitious agenda that we have before us India has constantly sought to ensure that global institutions and agreements are perceived to be fair and equitable at a time when global challenges like terrorism weapons of mass destruction proliferation environment or health have become more complex it is vital that global mechanism have the necessary capability and credibility to respond in matters relating to terrorism we recognize that it is a global phenomenon we ourselves have suffered grievously at the hands of these terrorist gangs for more than 15 years we therefore understand the pains and sufferings of the american people or the citizens of london when terror afflicts them we recognize all civilized societies have an obligation to work together to deal with this phenomenon i feel greatly honored and privileged to be present here today as we mark the opening of a new page in the history of this blessed country of afghanistan it is an honor that gives me particular satisfaction as a friend of afghanistan and a representative of the indian people who constitute the world's largest democracy and the oldest in this region today as baba e milat says the foundation stone of parliament of the islamic republic of afghanistan the roots of a plant are being led that will through your nurturing and care grow into a sturdy panja chinar of democracy representation is the very essence of democracy this avifies 
when it is built will be a very heart of democracy in afghanistan we believe that democratic institutions need to be encouraged nursed and promoted we also believe that they should develop and evolve in accordance with the culture values and native genius of each country we are partnering other democracies through the global democracy initiative and have contributed 10 million to the un democracy fund to be used to promote institutions based on eternal values of liberty equality and fraternity afghanistan may be a young democracy but it has always been a plural society with a unique mosaic of different ethnic 